do you need to replace the input output board on your Alienware X15 R1? Well, I'm going to show you how. Also, you can click the top right of the screen to find this part or tools or additional help on our website, including written step-by-step -step tutorials with detailed images. Now that that's out of the way, let's jump into it. The first thing you're going to do is remove the bottom base cover screws. I recommend sorting out your screws as you take apart your laptop. It'll make it that much easier during reassembly. And then use a plastic scribe to gently pry apart and remove the bottom base cover. Now before going any further, I recommend disconnecting your battery to protect your laptop from any static discharge. Now unscrew and remove the wireless card bracket. Then disconnect the antenna cables and slide out the wireless card. Next, unscrew and slide out the solid state drive bracket. Then separate and remove the solid state drive. Now unscrew and remove the solid state drive bracket. Now disconnect the left and right cooling fans. Then unscrew the left and right cooling fans. Now remove the cables from the routing guides on the left and right cooling fans. Then lift out the cooling fans from your laptop. Now unclip the locking tab and disconnect the I.O. cover cables. Then unscrew and gently slide off the rear I.O. cover. Then disconnect the left LCD cables. Now peel away the tape to unclip the locking tab and disconnect the right LCD cable. Next, peel away the tape to unclip the locking tab and disconnect the daughter board cable. Now unclip the locking tab and disconnect the power button cable. Then peel away the tape to unclip the locking tab and then disconnect the input-output board cable. Next, disconnect the headset port cable and then remove those cables from the routing guide. And now remove the headset port cable. Next, disconnect and unroute the DC jack cable. Now unscrew and remove the DC jack bracket. Then remove the DC jack. Now disconnect the speakers. Next, unscrew and remove the motherboard and the heatsink fan assembly. Then unscrew and remove the input output board. Then to complete the reassembly, just follow the original steps in reverse order. Also note that when reinstalling the motherboard assembly, you'll want to route the power button cable to its connector before you place the motherboard back in place, otherwise the power button cable will get trapped underneath.
If you still need help, you can visit partspeople.com and view printable DIY instructions to help you along the way. We also have playlists of thousands of Dell tutorials for hundreds of different models, so keep checking back. Thanks for watching.